Hi everyone and welcome! This video is the first in the playlist that I'm gonna call the Beauty Filter Playlist. I see a great demand for beauty filters on Instagram. And I understand that a lot of people have a hard time finding ways and techniques on how to create all these beauty things. So in this playlist, I'm gonna show you almost every and each technique that you need to create a beauty AR filter for Instagram. In today's video, we're gonna do blush. So how to add blush to your filter. In most cases, the makeup is texture. Uh, when it comes to texture, what we want to do is to create a texture for our face mesh. I'm gonna use this classic assets which are available through the Sparkair website or you can download it down below. So here I have the female face and another layer it's the face mesh trackers which helps us to better understand where every element should be. In order to draw something here I need a new layer so I click on plus and I'm gonna rename it. Now my next step is to take a brush here it is, brush. And I'm gonna use just a regular brush, but we need soft brush. So check that its hardness is zero. And now we can just draw the blushes. We can control the brush size uh, by using these buttons on your keyboard. And you can just draw the way you like. But you can see that the brush is too saturated. It might be difficult for us to adjust it. So I usually, let me take the eraser tool, just like this. So I usually change the opacity for the brush. Maybe six to six, that's okay. Then I can make it bigger and then draw what I want to draw. And this is the moment where you can be creative. You understand that there is uh, several ways to apply blush. So sometimes you can apply blush like this, or you can even apply blush for your on your nose. So you can do like this. Whoop. Let me change the opacity a little bit. So you can draw like this. You might even go further and you can do something, you know, that we don't do in regular life. Uh, for example, you can do whatever you want. But uh, the important things are, first of all, you see that I was drawing with the black color and it is important because we're gonna use uh, this texture in Spark Air Studio and the black color allows us to change the color inside the Spark AR. So in this case, you can change the color and you don't need to change the texture for your project. You can just change the color. So let me demonstrate how it works. When you are happy with your blush, you need to hide all layers, but with the one which has blush on, it's too intense here. I'm not gonna use this texture, I'm gonna use another one, which I created a few weeks ago. Anyway, uh, here's your texture. You go to File, Export, and Export As. Go to Format and save it as PNG file. I want to add something, by the way. Uh, when you're drawing something, I want you to know one Photoshop hack. It's not hack, it's just, you know, one of the tools that Photoshop has. Let's create a new layer and take the brush and cre uh, create something. And then I need to have the exact same uh, drawing on the other side. But <laughs> no matter how hard I try, I'll never be able to do it, right? 
So all we need to do is to go to this layer, copy it and paste it. I use uh, keyboard, I use uh, Ctrl C, Ctrl V to copy and paste. Now I take the layer two with the move tool. You see it's the layer with this drawing. Push Ctrl T to transform this layer. Then right click on it. Uh, you see that you can flip it and rotate it. In this case, we can flip it horizontal. And all we need to do is to make sure that it has the same distance from the from this red dots. So you move it uh, and that's it. You have perfect symmetry. All right. And again, you just uh, hide these layers and save. And now when you go to Spark Air Studio, you create a blank project. You select your pretty face. Uh, if you have a video with your face. By the way, if you don't know how to change the video, here is the link to my old video where I showed you how to do it. As I mentioned, blush is a texture. So we need a face tracker and face mesh. I'm gonna create a face mesh and I need a material for this one. Now I go to the flat shader type and usually we have this texture and we use this uh, property. But in this case, we need to go to the alpha, check this box, uh, select the texture with blush. Select the texture, select this one. Okay, you see that the blush texture turned white. And now we can go to this color, select the color you want. And then <laughs> it looks funny. And we need to go to the opacity and change it Just like this. Now we have natural blush. So visible, visible. My face mesh doesn't have a retouching material, only blush. And let me demonstrate another version of this. So I'll go to alpha and select another one. So let's see, you see it's cute, cute hearts on my cheeks. It is, it is cute. <laughs> and you can make the opacity higher. All right, and that's it. That's how you can work with blush. It's quite simple. And the most difficult part is to draw this blush in Photoshop. Thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, you can find a few absolutely free things down below. It's absolutely free, but in case you uh, decide to donate in order to support this channel i'll be i'll be happy i'll be the most happiest person in the world see you in the next videos